horses are in the birdcage and leading them out is their champion of champions from New Zealand, Rising Fast. And there's Ray Ribbon, runner-up in the Coalfield Cup. And Topper Hour, another fancied Maori lander. On the turn into the straight in the Melbourne Cup and Ray Ribbon was the leader, but it was almost immediately joined by Toparoa with Devonfield going great guns and rising fast coming with a weathering run. So William is next, followed by Gay Rannick, El Cruiser and Red Craze. Near the line, Toparoa had shaken Ray Ribbon off, but now Williamson calls on the top weight and rising fast is straining every muscle under the whip. Toparoa is holding him at bay. Williamson riding desperately on rising fast, but he can't make it and it's Toparoa's cut. It's Toparoa first, rising fast second, Sir William third. Toparoa, winner of a race worth 15,000 pounds in prize money, also landed a small fortune in bet. And hats off to rising fast gallant in defeat. He suffered badly in a mighty rough race. The New Zealanders were all over the Aussie hay burners this year, have been for a lot of years, it seems to me. Neville Selwood has landed his second Melbourne Cup. His previous win was on Delta. The Governor-General has the cup for owner N.H. McDonald, and congratulations for Selwood. Ugly duckling Toparoa has had 115 starts and this is only his...